Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be trying pink pineapple for the very first time. So the other day when we were out grocery shopping, I saw this pink pineapple and I asked Crystal, have you ever heard of this before? Have you seen it? And never. Yeah, I've sure enough, neither of us had ever heard of it. So uh, I actually polled a bunch of you guys on my Instagram and asked you if you'd ever heard of it. And something like 88% of you said that you had never even knew that this existed. So in spite of the $11 price tag, we decided to get it. So like, we wouldn't usually spend that much money on fruit uh, or at least a <laughs> single piece of fruit, but you know, because it's like such a unique thing and so many of you guys were intrigued and curious about it, thought it'd be a great opportunity to make a video of us taste testing it. And I actually learned a couple cool things about this once I started to look it up, because I was curious. I'm like, how did they develop this? Why have we never heard of it before? Is it like naturally occurring or what? So I assumed that it was a hybridized food. Like you guys remember, I did a video not too long ago on those like cotton candy grapes and yeah, those have been hybridized over many years. And I figured this was kind of the same thing. But once we got home and Crystal actually read the label, <laughs> <laughs> the label actually says that this product was made possible through bioengineering. Apparently it is like modified, genetically kind of modified um, to have a pink flesh. Yeah. And it took them about 16 years to, I guess, like cult cultivate it. To develop and, and it. To, to develop yeah. it. And I'll let you explain a little bit more. But <laughs> yeah, we probably could have read the label beforehand. <laughs> well, usually we buy organic food, so we yeah. don't really like you know, we don't think about if something is GMO or not because here in North America, at least, if your food's organic, it's yeah. non-GMO. Yeah. Uh, so it was a bit of a shock to us, but you know, obviously we're not just gonna like throw it away because it's GMO. <laughs> we're gonna try it out, but if we don't make it out alive or we start growing like a pineapple out of the side of our head, you guys know why. So I think we should just cut into it because I'm really hungry and I okay. really, really want to try it. And while we cut into it and show everyone what it looks like, you can tell us some facts about it. I will let you do the honors. I'm gonna just undress it here a little bit. <laughs> I could wear it like a little pink glow crown. Oh nice, crown. it's a little crown. Oh, I like it. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous. If this thing's not pink inside, this whole video is like a bust. Yeah, but... I know. Or if it's Fatal. like rotten. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the, that's the scariest part. The big reveal. Whoa! Wow. Oh, wow, that's way pinker than I was expecting. So you guys can see that it is definitely quite pink on the inside. The core looks like it's, you know, a little bit more yellow, but it's really neat. And smell-wise, smells like a friggin' good pineapple yeah, it and does. for $11, it better be the best <laughs> pineapple we've ever had. So it is uh so what they said is it supposed to be very sweet and it's supposed mm. to have less acidity than regular pineapples. So it's not just the pink color, it is supposed to be even tastier. How is it even pink though? Like do they <laughs> put like dye in like the yeah. roots or something? They use red dye number 40 and they just like <laughs> inject it right in there. No, seriously? No, so okay, apparently all pineapples contain lycopene, which you guys know is that red, red pigment that's like in uh, tomatoes and it's also in like watermelon and other things. There's actually an enzyme that's in pineapple that converts that into beta carotene, which is the more like yellow pigmented vitamin uh, mm. that we all know. So like usually pineapples have more of that and that's why they're yellow? Yeah, they have more beta carotene. Oh. This pineapple is gonna have more lycopene because what they've done through the bioengineering as they call it, <laughs> you ain't fooling us, GM, we know that, uh, is that they've somehow gotten rid of or downregulated that enzyme that converts the oh. lycopene into beta carotene. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I didn't know that pineapples even had lycopene in them to start with. I had no idea. But I guess they don't because it's constantly converted into beta carotene. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, okay, yeah. cool. And we actually noticed when we were purchasing them that none of them had the green tops on them that you usually see. And uh, I, my initial thoughts were that it was probably just like that for the sake of like packaging so that they could like squish more into a box because you know, if they're coming all the way from Costa Rica, it's a premium product, figured they'd want to like cram as much yeah. in there. You have your own theory as to why they cut the tops off. My theory is that the reason why they cut the leaves off is so you can't like try to cultivate them or grow them yourself. Because they don't want you having like a- Yeah, a pink pineapple a pink tree. pink pineapple and farm. And then just giving it to all your friends and then they're not making money. Derek looked up the real reason and yeah. he hasn't told me. So <laughs> what's the real reason? So you're actually partly right. That is sort of the reason, although they don't admit that's the reason. But no, what it actually is, because they are a GMO food um, or bioengineered food, <laughs> they 
don't produce any seeds. So there's no seeds in here oh, that they could use right, in right. order to grow them again. So it's kind of like with the uh, the Cavendish banana, how they right. have to you know splice each plant from another one. Uh, that's what happens with these. So they cut the top off and then they re you know, plant it, oh, and then wow. it grows another one, and they just keep doing that. So do you think we should now try it, I, since everyone's probably know. waiting for Let's that? I know. Let's get into it. Cheers. All right. Cheers. Okay. So, they're right. No, not, no not, acidity. Not acidic at all. No acidity. Which, I, I don't know, I kind of like a little bit of sourness in my pineapple. I don't like it when they turn your tongue like, I don't know what that word is, but like astringent or whatever, but like... Yeah, there's no acidity. That's so... Mm -hmm. I like it for that, but other than that, it kind of just tastes like a regular pineapple. I don't really find it any sweeter, yeah, actually. Not just... all that sweet, to be honest with you. No, probably not the worst one I've ever had, but when you get a nice, sweet, regular pineapple, mm -hmm. like, that'll beat this any day of the week. And it's like a third of the price. If I were to close my eyes and eat it, and someone was like, how is that pineapple? You'd be, I'd like, be, it, like, you'd be like, it's okay. I'd be like, yeah, that's fine. That's okay. <laughs> You know? Oh, okay, if you close your eyes and someone was like, is the pineapple you're eating worth $11? You'd be like, no. Well, I'd be like, how big is it? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like the size of a pumpkin? <laughs> and then they show you this and you're like, no. No, I know you get the top. I can't even grow another one. All in all, what do you, th what, are, what are our collective thoughts? Okay, well, my initial thought, like when I first saw it was like, why? Like no one asked for a pink pineapple yeah. and no one ever complained that the, they didn't like, you know, or at least not to me, didn't like the color of like regular pineapples. Mm -hmm. It's not like it's like pineapples are like the color of mud or anything like that. Like it's just a nice yellow, right? right? I don't understand why they spent 16 years developing this, you know, and it's not like pineapples, like a complete staple and everything. Like if they came out with a new banana or something, right, right, that's right. like, you know, like it's basically a commodity yeah. <laughs> that I could understand why they would want to do that. Uh, but yeah, it just seems kind of strange to me. It's the kind of thing they did because they could, you know? 100%. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. You guys will have to let us know in the comments down below what you think of this. Uh, of course, you don't know how it tastes or whatever, but we did describe it pretty well. One interesting thing about this is I never used to like pineapple when I was a kid because the flavor was like so strong and overbearing. So, you know, it might be a pineapple that's like more likable for like kids or whatever, but I don't know. Do you really need to be, you know, shoving like a 16 year, like in yeah, the making a engineered pineapple? Pineapple down the kid's throat? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So do you think we should buy this again? I would, would, would no. you? You want to buy no. it again? <laughs> no, 10 out of 10 wouldn't buy it again. Uh, no, fun novelty. It was cool to make a video out of it, and I liked learning about it. That was actually kind of like one of my favorite parts. I love when you kind of like dive into food yes. like this and you start learning new things. All right, so I think that's it for this video. Kind of a bit anticlimactic. I was hoping this was gonna be, you know. Like top notch, 10 out of 10, like would buy again. Like, yeah. wow, they banged it out of the park. At least $11 out of $11, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> but out of $11, I'd say it's like a maybe, I don't know, five out of $11. But I still wouldn't pay that much for it. I probably wouldn't pay like <laughs> Just get like a regular one. All right, so thank you guys for watching the video. We're gonna go and probably eat the rest of this. Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> But, uh, you know, we were really excited to get into it and share it with you guys and try it out. And now you know. And I just saved you guys 11 bucks. So you can send it to my Venmo account, which is... No, I'm just kidding. We don't have one. I don't even know if that's a... Is I don't that even it? think that's in cash. Is that even a, in No, Canada? I don't think so. I don't think so. So send cash and gold coins to P.O. Box. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye-bye. Bye. Yeah, it's, it's bland as fuck.